pas de pitié, le fou est rond sous les yeux. Il veut se rendre sur moi le bidon d'essence. De... Oh Pourquoi je veux ce... <rire> Oh there I am Nathan Burbage Sinclair. <coughs> Welcome to my online acting class, my online acting class .co .uk. Oh there This class deals with sex scenes. Scenes of sex. Remember, truth is the only good acting. Titoga. If we're truthful, we are good. This is my mantra. If we're truthful, we are good. Repeat it now. Go on, go on, go on. Some of you aren't repeating it. Go on, look, 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 repeat it. I know some of you are just watching and not repeating, but that is not good enough. Repeat it. Look, those of you who aren't repeating it are ruining it for everyone else. I'm not backing down. See if I care. We'll wait for those of you who aren't repeating it. For those who've forgotten, by the way. Truth is the only good acting. Go on. Right, right. Look, I'm waiting until everyone does it. I'm not having this. I'm off. I can't be bothered if you're not going to take this seriously. I think you should just do it. You sure? Yes, ignore the ones who are lazy. Just accept the fact they'll never be good actors. That was me talking to me. I was just toying. <laughs> I don't care whether you repeat what I say or not. <laughs> well, I do a bit. Well, a lot, actually. <laughs> so, today we will discuss sex scenes. Dennis Quilly, the late great DQ, as he was known, he was an athletic, dynamic Polonius in Simon Russell Bull's Hamlet of the National, as you would expect. Dennis could take the blueprint and rip it up. For him, theatre was theatrical. He gave me superb advice about acting, and particularly about sex. Let's see what he expect. When I work with him, his words will linger along with me. Ho, 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 he said. Actually, um, his word, one word. I knew exactly what he meant, what he meant, as do we all. Ho, 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 ho. Marvellous. Occasionally, just a word conveys all. Ho, 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 ho. Brilliant. Similarly, Bruce Tiverton, a brilliant stage manager, has worked his salt of the earth fingers to the bone with me on several occasions, put it succinctly. Kill him, my son! <laughs> but in actual fact, sex scenes must be prepared for in every way you prepare for any acting scene. Look for truth. Do what the character requires. If you're playing a brute, be brutish. If a sensitive carer, be sensitive and caring. Maybe difficult for you, but if the script requires it, you must do it. Obviously, you must do it well. Apply your inner animal, but the inner, inner animal on heat, obviously. But above all, apply titoga. Be truthful. I know that for some actors and actrines, getting butt naked, getting their kit off, revealing the naked flesh, can be the most difficult thing they ever have to do. However, here are a few shortcuts. Firstly, if you are to appear in a sex scene, make sure you have a terrific body. No one likes a fatty, but of course it's unlikely you'll be in a sex scene if you're a minger or an attractive person, as that's not what the public want to watch. They want fit bodies. They're not keen on a spare tire or varicose veins, but let's be frank, if you're unattractive, you're unlikely to be cast in a sex scene anyway. But if you are attractive enough, sex scenes are for you. Now, pre-scene, limber up, do full warm-up, eh, 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 eh the arm, etc. Apply some oil if necessary. Just because you're lying down, this is not an opportunity to go to sleep. You have to be alert as always. Also, always remember to have some mouthwash handy. You do not want to have stinky breath when kissing your co-star. Remember, always tongue your co-star when kissing. He or she expects it as that is truthful. And if he or she says she doesn't, he or she is lying or not truthful. The norm is to tongue each other. If you're a man, always try to feel a breast, because that is real also. If a woman stroke his back, and these are givens, really, that is real sex play, perfect for an acting sex scene. If naked and a man, try not to, to get to you know, a um, bow, you know, as that alienates the director and everyone else. Think of Cabbage, think that that will dull your lust, or think of Cilla Black or Simon Cowell, nude. 
the late great Dennis Quilly, DQ, gave me another tip about sex scenes. He said, hit your bell end with a ruler that banishes any thoughts of a sexual nature. I mean, not during the scene, obviously, but just before the scene starts. Go off the set to do this if you can, or do it under the sheet. For girls, really helps if you fancy the man you're acting with. For, for men, this is rarely a problem. Men always fancy everyone with a pulse. Alternatively, here are some people to think of if you really think your acting sex partner is a total turn -off. George Clooney, obviously. Uh, the lead singer of The Killers, whose name I forget, but um, a girlfriend of mine fancies him. Um, Russell Brand. Um, not Russell Grant. <laughs> Fake art. Chris Christopherson, uh, Martin Clunes, Michael Wilding, Jose Iglesias, uh, David Cameron. For men, once again, it's necessary for you to simulate sexual intercourse, if it's necessary. Make sure that you don't actually aim your, uh, what's it, your man thing, you know, at your partner's, you know, fandango. As this can be hugely embarrassing, aim at their thigh. If for a woman, try and wear some large underwear. Suggest to the cameraman that he keep your intimate area just out of shot. They can do this, they are highly skilled. Naturally, the same acting rules apply as always according to the size, as always according to the size of the shot. If you're in long shot, you can be big and mount the sex act to your heart's content. If you're in close-up, a demon sex face is not a pretty sight, even it is even if it is the real you. Try and be subtle. You may never be employed again if we say how you actually look when you have sex. This <laughs> although the way I look when I experience an um, orgasm is not what I would show anyone on screen. This is more appropriate. If you're not getting on well with your girl or boyfriend at home and you want to make them jealous, tell them about the sex scene. Yes. If you really want to make them jealous, invite them along to the shoot. If you want to break the relationship up, here is a good opportunity. If you want to add heat to the relationship, wah, here is a perfect opportunity. When the TV or film is out, make sure you take the girl or boyfriend with you to the premiere. If you're still going out, that is, <laughs> so they see you at it, in the close-up. <laughs> They'll either be the most jealous they can be or chuck you. Or just accept it's your job. You are, as they say in France, cuisine. So, now on stage. A sex scene on stage will not create the same problems of intimacy. It's unlikely the audience will be very close, unless you're in a very intimate fringe theatre. So, you can go for it to your heart's content as long as your partner is willing. Let's face it, unless you're in a Sarah Kane play where uh, bottom sex is obligatory, there are many sex scenes on stage, and quite frankly, most actresses in the theatre will hate the idea of getting their kit off when it's just wearing a bra and knickers and pyjamas and overall pink flesh coloured body stocking. Anyone want to discuss this further, please ail me at nbs at theonlineactingclass.co.uk and I will give them much more detail. Now remember, Tituga, truth is the only good acting. Say it. Say it. Now please, we're not going to do what we did at the beginning. Say it. Just say it. Tituga. 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 Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was for Sebi. You know who you are. As Sophie Ellis Bexter almost says, it's murder to hear the author's words mangled by an idiot. Any questions, please do message me on the site, theonlineactingclass.co.uk. Mwah!